Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Fanny and in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this natural looking hairstyle and it's very easy and simple to do. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Before you start doing this hairstyle, you want to make sure your hair is well moisturized by applying a leave-in conditioner. So this is the leave-in conditioner I'm using because you're going to use gel, you want to make sure your hair is well moisturized. Then you want to start by putting your hair in sections as I have a thick 4C hair and sometimes the gel doesn't agree with my hair so I, I have to work with small sections. Then you want to start by applying the gel so I'm using Eco Styler, the one for olive oil so I'm going to start by applying in each section and you want to be very 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 patient with your hair so that it comes out looking good and well slicked down you want to use some brush to help you so I'm going to start with a stiff bristle brush then I'm going to use a smooth brush to help me further smoothen my hair down so if you have natural hair you want to use some brush to help you otherwise it's going to be so hard for these uh, for this hairstyle to come out as your hair won't be as slick as you want it to be Sometimes I do struggle with slicking back my hair even after spraying my hair with water to help me with the slip it doesn't come out as good as I want it to be. So let me know in the comment section below do you struggle with slicking back your hair as much as I do. Sometimes it comes out good sometimes it doesn't come out good so sometimes it's a good day sometimes it's really bad day for my hair. So if you're going to do this hairstyle for the first time, it might take you a little bit long time as you are mastering how to do it. Then as time goes, as you do it every now and again, it becomes more easy and you will not even spend more than 10, uh, 10 minutes doing it. So you want to be patient for the first time and first, maybe sometimes it might not come out as well as you wanted it to be but as you continue doing it every now and again it becomes easier and you're actually going to be perfect on it so when i first did this hairstyle on my hair i didn't know it was going to go to be my go-to-go hairstyle that i do almost every time as it is easy and simple and very straightforward and when you're doing this hairstyle you don't want to abuse the gel you want to just use enough uh, as your hair needed for this hairstyle to be quick for you, you want to uh, work on section. I know some people do like just putting it all over their hair at once, but I find if you have natural hair, it's really hard for your hair to slick down or maybe it's just my hair. It's really hard for my hair to slick down if I don't work in section. You also want to secure the parts you've applied the gel on so that it doesn't come on your way while you're applying the gel on the other sections. So you might be wondering how long this hairstyle might take you. It takes me up to two weeks or sometimes one week depending on how my hair feels like but the thing is I after two days or after three days i tend to spray my hair with water again just to reactivate the gel you don't want to reapply the gel on top of what you already have on your hair so you just want to spray your hair with a little bit of warm water then it's going to reactivate the gel then your hair will be more slicked down again so here I was done with the back of my hair and lovely as I was so relieved you know how sometimes it's hard to do the back of the hair so when you're done with it you're like oh I'm nearly there so after you're done with the back of your hair so if you want a middle part or if you want a side part or if you just want your hair to be on back band all of it this is the this is where you want to do it so i'm just going to do the same thing i'm going to apply the gel and i'm still going i'm using uh, the brush to help me i'm using this brush then i'm going to use a smooth brush to further help me slick down the hair 
when doing styles like this i always find myself listening to music or yes half beats or other type of music just to lift up my mood i don't know if you also do that let me know in the comment section below this is one of the easy and the quickest hairstyle you can do on any hair type so if you don't have any hairstyle in mind uh, i highly recommend this hairstyle for your hair and i believe you're going to like it you can do it on any hairstyle it doesn't matter what type of hair you have so you can do it anytime and it's easy and quick so if you don't maybe you are in a hurry and you want to do some just a quick hairstyle that can make you that can last you for one week or so this is the hairstyle i can highly recommend because it comes out very natural and it looks so good on natural hair the main goal is that you want to make sure your hair is well slicked so you want to spend more time on especially on the front of your hair sometimes it's hard to slick down the front of hair unlike it is when slicking the back of your hair so you want to spend a little bit more time in front of your hair just to make sure it comes out looking well and uh, looking well and very natural while you're applying the gel I'm just working on my front just to make sure my hair is well laid back so I'm still applying the gel and using the brush to help me slick down the hair I didn't want any parting so I'm just going to put my hair all down but if you want any parting as I said earlier this is the right time to do it so you want to make sure you are very thorough on your front otherwise it's not going to slick down well especially if you have if you have natural hair it's going to be a little bit hard for it to slick back so you want to make sure you spend more time with the brushes and also with the gel just to make sure the hair comes out very slick and looking so well so i'm just a little bit thorough with my front and yes now i'm done i'm going to put it all back or I'm, go I'm just going to put it on uh, in hair band just to make sure my hair is well slicked I'm still you can still retouch the places you feel like it's not slicking back well just the way I'm doing and I'm still using a little bit of my hands to help me also then I'm going to put my hair in hairband. You don't want to make your hair so tight. You just want to make sure you put it, uh, you secure all the hair all together with a hairband. I did feel like there are some portions that I didn't brush well. So I still further went with a smooth brush to help me, as you can see. Then you want to use a silk cloth to help you further slick down your hair or as at this point you can just tie your hair with a silk cloth and slip with it or you can use a blow dry to help you dry your hair. If you are in a hurry using blow dry will actually speed up the process for you. So I'm just going to use a blow dry for less for 5 minutes or maybe 3 minutes depending on how long it takes your hair to dry. So I'm just going to do it all over until I feel the hair is dry. So this is the hair I'm going to use as my extension. It's called Afro Natural. I found it on my local store. So I'm try I'm going to try and explain to you what I'm doing. So you want to use your hair hairband as a knot to secure the extension by putting it in the middle just the way I'm doing. Hopefully you see how my hands are going through so this hair comes in a very big bundle so you just want to use half of it so after your hair is dry you want to go ahead and put this extension in your hair with the hairband just the way i am doing hopefully you're seeing then you want to wrap the extension on your hair as a pony just the way i'm doing 
so you want to start with one side then you go ahead with the other side then you want to take a bobby pin to help you secure the one that you wrapped so I'm going to put a, po a bobby pin to secure the one that I've just wrapped up then you want to do the same to the other side you just wrap it around you have to be a little bit patient and wrap it around and take a body B pin to secure it and this is how my hair came out looking like oh this is the hairstyle it's very beautiful and looks so natural thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye